England finish their World Cup journey as the fourth best team it's hard to keep your interest in a match that has absolutely no consequences. That holds true even if the two teams that are playing are arguably two of the most entertaining teams in the tournament. Belgium managed to eke out a win thanks to an early surge where they dominated the Englishmen like it was nobody's business. Romelu Lukaku played a brilliant threaded through ball for Nasser Chadli on the left wing. The wing back then whipped it into the corridor of uncertainty where Thomas Meunier had ventured into to tap it in. With more than a couple of their premium players not starting, England took their sweet time growing into the game. In the end, whatever they proffered proved to be too little. Pickford had a brilliant game once again and a delightful counter from Belgium was stopped from becoming the goal of the tournament by the Everton goalkeeper's outstretched hand. However, Hazard got a well-deserved goal in the 82nd minute after running on to a lovely Kevin De Bruyne through ball. Anyway, without further ado, let's look at the three reasons why England lost the game to Belgium. For all the potential that Loftus Cheek, Delph and Dyer have choosing to start with them is a major step down especially if your go-to guys are of the quality of Lingard, Deli Heli and Jordan Henderson fact. And that perhaps wasn't the best approach to take as Belgium looked set to go for the kill from the get-go. While Loftus Cheek was decent, Delph did nothing of note and Dyer struggled in midfield against Thielmans and Kevin De Bruyne. Once Sally and Lingard introduced in the second half, England's game picked up pace and they were creating a lot. But, 